basically what we'll be using today is one of the textbooks mm -hmm. which I shared to the group, which is the candlestick Bible. You understand? Without me even changing you, you going to that candlestick Bible yourself is a go. You understand? So now, without wasting much of our time, because each class is one hour. So I'd like to talk about the candlestick, you understand the history of candlestick, what is candlestick and candlestick's pattern. Then tomorrow, or yeah, that will be tomorrow. We we cross into market structure tomorrow. You understand? Oh, and if we can actually have a taste of no, let us do the candlesticks today. Then we'll cross, we cross to market structure in the next class. So now, good evening, everyone, once again. My name is Davies Omar Hart. So, now, uh, some people still think the class are actually by nine. So, I guess that's why I don't really have, but they will, let's, they will get recorded this thing. So now, when you actually open a chart, you understand, this is what you see normally. All this, all this blah, blah, blah stuff. They call them candlesticks, you understand? Now, this is actually giving us a graphical representation of what's actually happening in the market. You understand? It's like telling us a story of what's actually happening in the market. So if we don't really understand these candlesticks and some other things, we can't really understand what is happening in the market. So even the extent that with that, we cannot even make a decision if we want to buy or we want to sell. You understand? So it's very paramount for us to know all these things. So aside this candlestick, candlestick, we have other two stuff that can actually serve as a uh, graphical representation for us to, you understand, or pictorial representation for us to. We have the line charts, you understand? We have the line charts, here's the line charts, and we have the bar charts, you understand? Let me show you what the bar chart look like. We have the bar charts, you understand? See, this is what the bar chart look like. This is what the bar chart look like. You understand? So now, well, we mainly use candlestick because of, because it has, should I say, yeah, we actually use candlestick because it gives us enough information about what we actually have to know. That is, it gives us the opening position, the closing position, the weak, the real body, the shadow, and stuff like that. So we're actually using it because it gives us a lot of information, like on like line that we can only know open and close position. You understand? So that's that about that. So now, candlestick was actually invented by a man, a Japanese man. You understand? So, and uh, should I say, let me talk about the candlestick anatomy. You know, just as human, candlestick have different body size. You understand? And when it comes to trading, it is important to check out the bodies of candlestick and understand the psychology behind it. You understand? So that's what we learn in this section and today. You understand? So talking about the candlestick pattern, you understand? Candlestick pattern are like integral parts of technical analysis. Candlestick pattern emerge because human action and reactions are pattern and constantly repeated. You understand? So in this session too, we actually learn about that. So the market structure, I said we're actually going to learn about that tomorrow. So without wasting much of our time, let's dive in, in let's dive in proper to the history of candlestick. So I will not say everything about the Jesse candlestick have been around a lot longer than anything similar in the Western world. The Japanese were looking at charts as far as back as the 17th century, whereas the earliest known charts in the US appeared in the late 19th century. Rice trading have been established in Japan in 1954 with gold, silver, and rapeseed oil following soon after. So rice market dominated Japan at this time, and the commodity became, you know, it seemed more important than our currency. So Moelisha Omad, a.k.a. Soku Oma, a Japanese rice trader born in the early 70s, 70s is widely credited as being one of the early exponents of tracking rice price action. You understand? Or well, let me just say tracking price action. Yeah. You understand basic supply and demand dynamics. No, the basic thing that actually moved the market is supply and demand. But also identify the fact that emotion played in the part of this setting price. So when it comes to this trading, actually, you emotions always have to follow. And after you even being good in your technical and fundamental analysis, you guys will always have to work on your emotion because when we talk about trading, 
emotion is the real meaning of trading. I can actually be able to undo your emotions. You understand? So that's that the that about candlesticks. So the candlesticks are important to us at trading analysis because it is considered as a virtual, sorry, visual representation of what's going on in the market. You understand? And like I said, we still have other tools, which is the bar chart and the line chart. So candlesticks are flexible. They can be used alone or in a combination with technical analysis, such as moving average. Those are indicators. You understand? So I personally use candlestick with support and resistance. You understand? Trend lines and other technical tools. So with that, we are getting there. Candlestick provide more valuable information than bad charts. You know, I said it. Using them is a win-win situation because you can get all the trading signals that bad charts generate with the added clarity and additional signals generated by candlestick. Understand? So candlestick are used for most by most professional traders or almost professional traders actually even the banks. You understand? They use candlestick, so we'll be using candlestick. So using candlestick pattern will help us understand what the big boys are doing and what I mean, the big boys. We all know in your mosque is actually part of the big boys and other wealthy people like him in the financial market. You understand? For example, the banks too are part of the big boys. You understand? And we show us when to enter, when to exist, and when to stay away from the market. So without wasting much of our time now, let's go. What is what is a candlestick? You understand? Japanese candlesticks are formed using the open eye, low, and close of the chosen time frame. So now we have to add, this is the time that you guys actually have to have to take your pen and write down. You understand? We have two type of candlesticks, you understand? We have the bearish candlestick and the bluish candlestick. So what I mean by the bearish candlestick, what I mean by the bearish candlestick is the candlestick that the bearish, I'm coming, let me try and write it down. I'm trying to write it down so that we can actually get it. Where is the candlestick? And we have the bluish candlestick. Understand? So now. Let me zoom out very well and proper. I want to look for the candlestick that are actually closer to each other. So we can actually get it. Come on, bro. So I'm using these two candlesticks. Let me highlight them, these two candlesticks, which is the green and the black. Understand? So now, the green candlestick is called the bluish candlestick. Let's go what? The bluish candlestick. Why the black is called the bluish candlestick? Now, let me talk about psychology behind that. I'm coming, I'm trying to. I'm not even coming there. I know. I'm going to just look like this. So, this is the. Okay, let me just use the green for you. Then I'll use the black. Well, let's just go. Let's just go. I'll be using the black here. Now, I'm using the green here. Understand? So now, using the green candlestick here, just the green, forget about the black beside it. Understand? So, the green will be the bluish candlestick. Every black is the bearish candlestick overall. So that when I'm differentiating it, you guys will not get confused. That's why I want to make it in a separate places. So now, what do we mean by a bluish candlestick? A bluish candlestick is more or less like, you know when something is going up, that means buy. You understand? And that's what it's like, you going long. And the candlestick for that is always sometimes colored with green, most times green. That's the original color, but when it tends to some traders now that they've actually customized their own candlestick to different color, that's because they understand it. But normally, the color is always green and red. You understand? You say, I customized mine to black, my red to black. That's, you know, let's go on. 
to now. Do not them. I said. Sorry. We're actually using candlestick because we gave it gives us enough information compared to other like the uh back chart and line chart. Someone just said he's not hearing anything. Can you hear me guys? Can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear me, guys? Hello? Can you guys hear me? Let me go to you guys can actually answer. Can you hear me? Okay, good. So now, I said the reason we're actually using um candlestick is because it gives us a lot of information compared to the other ones. Understand? So now. We have to type, like I said, we have the bluish and the bearish, understand? And the bearish is a is a signal like sell. The selling candlestick. Understand? It's called the bearish. Understand? I want to make it very easier for us. Why the bluish? It's the buying candlestick. So most times always colored with um green and this the bearish is colored in red. So if you open your MC5, you'll see it. So when you see something green, it means the market is going up. And if you can notice the candlestick is going up, the black is coming down. So when it's coming down, it's colored in black. Most, just don't forget the color is red, but actually just design might be black. So that's that about that. So now let's go to the labeling of this candlestick. You understand? Since we said this gives us enough information comp compared to the other line charts and bar charts. Now, now, I will talk about the differences between this bluish and this bearish candlestick. But first, let's label it. You understand? So now, the eye. The eye, you understand? Can you see this tail? You understand? The eye of this tail is called, I can call it eye. Let us use the word eye. Let me make it bigger so that we can. Okay. Why? We call this one the loop. You understand? The distance. Between year, you understand, to year. But let's just say the week alone. You know, we just talk the point, the stopping points and the starting points. That's what we are calling high and low. Now, these things, these tails, you can actually call them, you can actually call them, use this one to ask tail, you understand? So you can actually call them, control C, control V. So you can actually call them, Can actually call them. Come on. Week. Or you can call them shadow. You understand? Week or shadow. Same time applicable to year. Control C, Control V. Same time applicable to year. You understand, guys? 
So week shadow. This from year to year is the week of shadow. From year to year is the week of shadow. Then this one is called the real body. <clears throat> real, real body. It's called the real body. Now we are still labeling the bearish candlestick. It's called the real body. Now, very good. Now, the thing that actually now like separates all this like this, the labeling for this now is still the same for the labeling for the bluish. But now going to the thing that differentiates them apart from the color again and their action is that now since we say black means is going down, is it selling this thing right? Actually, I can see it's selling emoji. Okay. It means that it's coming down. Is that what you said? Come on. Since we said it's coming down, understand? That means what? It's bearish. So definitely, it means that this particular place, this particular line, understand? Is the opening position. This is coming down. And this particular last one is the closing position. You understand now? Now, so since it's coming down, that means that the opening is from up. So let's put open position. Open position. Then this will be the words. Closing position. <clears throat> So that's that about it. So now let's label, let's label um the bluish. So same thing for the bluish. Same thing for the bluish. Same thing for the bluish. This will be the low. This will be the low. You understand? Then this will be the eye. This will be the eye. This tip will be the eye. Will be the eye. Then talking about the real body. This will be the real body. What else? The shadow and the weak bar. Same thing for the shadow and for all. Right. So we've labeled the real body. Now, so now this is where the difference comes in. Now this is telling us that the market is what is going up, right? You understand? You know that was telling us that the market was going down. So now since the market is going up, that means the journey started from down up to up you understand so we can only use these real bodies to know opening positions and closing positions you understand this cannot be our open position and closing position we use the real body the beginning and the end of the real body to know our opening positions and these things are very very paramount when it comes to trading you understand so now this will be calling now this will be our opening position this particular price opening position Opening position. Now, this will be our words. This is, normally, normally, if you see people in the other class, they tend to use charts to explain all these things. But I don't really have that time. Closing. I believe that if I'm using, if we are doing this together like this, there are chances of you getting it. So this is the label. You understand? So what will happen now is let me let me let me try and screenshot it like this first. Then I'll send it. I'll send it to the group. I'll 
our sign is the group after the class. You understand? So those are the words, those are the label of the candy stick. You understand? So like I was saying, we said the group start. Said, How much? Let's start. Problems. So now having identifying, How having uh, having identifying. Eh? Please, can you just can we mute? Wait, we can check whether I get change or you already give me change. Yeah, you get change. So having identified and labeling the candlestick. So now let's that lead us to some little explanations. Understand? So you can find different colors using used to differentiate between bluish and bluish. But like I said, it's always in the color of black, sorry, green, and what green and red. Let me change mine to red back. You know, I've changed my back to red because of you guys. So this how it looks normally. You understand, guys? Mm -hmm. Things actually very pretty here. Yeah. So now let me screenshot this one instead. Let me screenshot this one instead. Let me screenshot this instead. So now, if you part of the candlestick is called the real body, in summary, don't forget that. The timelines spoken above and below the bodies are called the shadows or weak. These are the timelines above or below. Are called the shadow or weak. You understand? The bottom of the lower shadow is the low. 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 You understand? The difference between the bearish and the bluish is their opening position and their closing position. You understand? And that's because of the direction. You understand? Now let's go to the let's go to candlestick body size. You understand? Candlesticks have different body because you looking at CTSF, you can actually see I see some candlesticks that are actually tiny. The real bodies are tiny. As you can see one, you can see the real body are yeah, right? Tiny and the real body of this one is very large. You understand? So candlesticks have different body size. You understand? We have the long versus short. You understand? Long bodies refer to the strong buying or selling pressure. You understand? Like if you actually seen a very long candlestick like this, it's actually referring to a very, a very strong pressure, selling pressure. That is the market is selling with pressure. And same thing, if you're actually seeing with a uh, bluish candlestick, you understand? it's telling you the buying pressure, the buyer's pressures in the market, you understand? And if you are seeing something like this, the pressure is not too high, it's actually telling you that the pressure is not actually there, you understand? So that's that about that. So now, if there is a candlestick in which the close is above the open with a long body, you understand? This is the case that the buyers are stronger. And they are taking control of the market during this period of time. You understand? That is, if the close, for instance, this is the close, is above, if there's a candlestick in which the close, for instance, now, this is the closing position for this. You understand? If the closing position is above the open positions, can you see the closing is above the open position here? Yeah. Above. This means the case that the buyers are strong. You understand? That's how you can actually get to know the difference between this bluish and bearish candlestick. Understand? Now, the closing position for here is below the open position, which is telling you that the sellers are in what? Uh, 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 the one controlling the market for that particular period of time. In the case, the, the, the sellers are stronger than the buyers. You understand? It means that the sellers are taking control of the market during that period of time. So conversely, if there's a bearish candlestick, okay, I have to explain that, so shorts and small body indicate a little buying or selling activities. You understand? So now let's go to. So I've explained the difference between the, real, the a very long body and a small body. Now the long body means that there's high pressure for the sellers or the buyers. Why? If, it's, if it is very sure, it's just telling you that pressure is not that actually much. You understand? So now that thing is like when you're actually seeing it with a very long pressure like this, it's telling you that the market wants to sell for long because the sellers are in power. You understand? Compared to when it starts, do you see when it was actually going with a powerful uh, bluish candlestick here? It's got a particular period of time. It was starting to shrink. And after what happened? The red shoe, you understand? So once there's a, like, let me say, there's no strong, or you can't start that pressure, that very long candlestick is telling you that anything can change at that particular moment. We'll still get to that when it gets to the first candlesticks, you understand? 
So we'll talk about the types of candlesticks we have. I mean, we're actually going to talk about it very soon now. I think that's what we're actually running to now. So now, this will lead us to... This will lead us to... Okay, okay, fine. Let me talk about the long shadows now. Japanese candlestick with short shadows indicate that most of the trading action was confined near the opening and close positions. You understand? So if a candlestick has a longer upper shadow and a short lower shadow, this means that the buyers flex their muscles and beat price higher. Do you understand that? That is, if the candlestick, if this candlestick, if a candlestick has a longer upper shadow, we all know what is called the shadow. So without wasting much of our time, this is actually an example. You can see that this, this is a bullish candlestick. It has an upper, longer shadow than that of the lower shadow. You understand? So it shows us that the buyers flex their muscle and bid the price higher. You understand? So for one reason or other, sellers came in. You understand? That That's how we can form. This is actually trying to tell us that the market actually reached the year before with the real body. You understand? But before that period of time, because each candlestick actually represents one hour, depending on the time frame you put it. But because this is one hour, so each candlestick represents one hour. So within that one hour, you understand, the market has actually reached this particular price here. But one way or the other, the sellers came in and drove the price powerfully back here. You understand? To the end in section, that is the closing section, that will be around maybe 00 0.59, anything X.59. Before another hour formed and another another candlestick was formed. You understand? So if a Japanese candlestick has a longer lower shadow and a short lower shadow, it means that the seller flashed their washboard apps and first bid price. But don't let me use those long English. Can you see in this particular case too? This has a longer shadow than this. It means that the sellers has, have actually used their power to year. Then one way or the other, the buyer started kicking them back, kicking them back, kicking them back until that particular our ended year, you understand? So we just trying to tell us that the sellers were in control, but the buyers kicked in around that particular period of time. So I'm explaining the psychology behind this now, you understand? So now that's really us to the candlesticks pattern. You understand, we have less than maybe 30 minutes more. So candlesticks pattern are one of the most powerful trading concepts, you understand? They are very simple, easy to identify, and very profitable setup. You understand? A research has confirmed that candlesticks pattern have a high predictive value and can produce positive results. Yes, I personally trade candlesticks then for more than, let me say, maybe four years. I can't really switch to another method without even using candlesticks. You understand? To understand it because I tried thousands of strategies and trading methods, and I still have to make it of what candlesticks. You understand? So there are some people that will actually introduce you to holy grain. I said, no, this trading system works, but be prepared to lose some trade, actually, because losing is actually part of the game. It's not 100% uh, winning, stuff like that. You understand? If you are looking for 100% winning, I, I recommend you now to stop trading and go and look for another business. You understand? But currency pattern are the language of the market. Imagine you are living in a foreign country and you don't speak the language. How will you live? If you can't even say a word, it is tough, right? So the same thing when it comes to trading. If you know how to read candlesticks pattern the right way, you'll be able to understand what the pattern tell you more about the market dynamics and the trader's behavior, you understand? So you're able to know when to buy, when to sell. So this key will help you to better enter and assist the market in the right time, you understand? Apart from that, for you to know the movement of the market, you understand? So so you know actually the candlestick alone that you're using to, to, to make a decision. We're actually going to come to some things. Remember, I said the things that actually move the market is supply and demand, but we've not actually gotten supply and demand. Mm -hmm. So that will be to tomorrow. Like I said, mm -hmm. so if you know how to read candlestick the right way, you will be able to understand what this pattern tells you about the market dynamics and trader behavior. So in other words, this will help you to add differently the market and make money and make money and make money following the smart guy's footprint. So the candlesticks pattern, I won't actually talk much about the candlestick pattern, just five minutes to explain the candlesticks pattern, you understand? So you can actually go to your candlestick trading Bible, you understand? So you read the candlestick pattern yourself, but I will explain to psychology and two types, you understand? So we use that as an assignment, guys, you understand? But to understand the other, what did I say? To understand the other type of candlesticks we have, so that, that will just be market structure tomorrow. You understand? So me picking randomly, I'll be talking about doji. You understand? Now, with what I actually explained about the long 
don't forget what actually explained by the long candlestick and the and the short body candlestick, the one with the upper week and the one with the short week low. You understand? Don't forget that because actually going to be making use of them here, guys. So okay, sorry. So the first can reverse okay. This candlestick pattern. They didn't bring lights now. So this can you hear me, guys? So this I was watching the video. So this So this reverse can this uh, uh, candlestick pattern, no, this candlestick pattern are actually okay. MC. Please hello. This candlestick kind of pattern are actually okay. designed into different patterns, different types. We have the one, we have the one pattern candlestick, kind of we have the two pattern candlestick, kind of we have the three approach. pattern candlestick, kind of you understand? Well, still the same thing. Every kind of is actually being derived from that same one pattern candlestick, kind of you understand? So the next slide before we jump to the market structure, I'll just brief about it, you understand? So we have less than 10 minutes more, we have eight minutes before the class ends. Yes. So now I'll be talking about doji. You understand? There's more day you do without that. I'll be talking about doji candlestick. So now, this candlestick pattern, like I said, are uh, always called was the reversal candlestick. They call them reversal candlestick. What do they mean by reversal candlestick? What do they mean by reversal candlestick is that when you spot these candlesticks, it means that the, the, the direction of the market wants to change. That if the market is actually buying before, it wants to sell. You understand? And we have so many of that candlestick. So if you really back to your candlestick Bible, you will see so many other candlesticks. You don't need to Put all these things in your head, you understand? Whereas I'm actually going to explain the psychology behind everything. <laughs> so now, without wasting much of our time, I'm actually going to start with Doji. Now, inside that candlestick Bible, inside that kind, inside that candlestick Bible, they will tell you we have a kind of Doji. They will tell you they have the uh, gravestone Doji, they have the dragonflies Doji, they have the normal Doji. No. Now, so now, without wasting of our time, like I'm saying, now this is an example of a Doji. Now, if you remember what I actually explained then, using the upper shadow, the lower shadow, the long upper shadow, then the real and open position body. Now, let me explain this psychologically to you now. Now, it's, can you see this candlestick was actually buying before? So it was going bluishly. Then after this was formed, it came down. You understand? This is doji, this is doji. You understand? So now, let me explain this psychology to you. Now, it's actually trying to tell you that the market was actually buying for a particular period of time within that one hour. Then within that one hour again, the seller actually popped in. It made the opening, can you see the opening position and closing position are very, very close. You understand? So psychologically, this one means indecisions in the market. You understand? That is, the buyers and the sellers are fighting. You understand? So they are fighting for power. So there are chances that what? It's actually a doji too. You understand? But I still explain. That's why I said, the, no, I said things that actually move the market supply and demand. So these kind of things are actually used to, are supposed to be used alongside this supply and demand too. You understand? Well, let's just still explain this candlestick. So tomorrow when we get to market structure, we'll talk about supply and demand and stuff like that. So that's that about that. So now, psychologically, do you understand what I'm trying to say? So it was showing that the market, can you see the week? You can you see it was an upper, upper, upper eye week than the lower week, you understand? It was showing that the market was actually going in a blue shin, then one way or the other, the seller has kicked in and pressured down the buyers before that one particular hour ended. Then after what happened? Boom. Same thing. Can you see the same thing happened here? You understand? The market was selling. Can you see the lower was actually higher than the high? The, low, the lower is longer than the high. So sellers were selling. Then the buyers actually was one way or the other kicked in and pressed the market, the market bought. You understand? So many other things like that. Like I this is a one can, this, this, this is an example of a, a, a one pattern and uh, reverse candlestick. We also have AMA, we have battered AMA. So talking about AMA, AMA always just always be like an AMA. You understand? See it here. You understand? So the, the difference between the AMA and the and the doji is that, like I said, the different kind of doji. So the indecision that is the open position and free position actually be around anyway. You understand? That's what differentiate the types of dojis we have. But psychologically, we mean we all already know they are the same thing. So that was too much time there. You understand? So the AMA, now the difference between the doji and the AMA or the shooting star, like they say, or the pin bar, you understand? Is that the real body, the real body is a little bit thicker than that of the doji, you understand? Doji is actually a very powerful candlestick. So this armor, you understand? And it's armor because the armor is standing straight. So if that was supposed to be, be the case that it was, when you see the pin bar, you can still call it armor, 
So you can call it inverted armor because the armor is what showing upside down. You understand? So as long as the upper week is longer than the lower week around the zone, around the supply and demand zone, knows that they want to be a change in direction of the market. This is a totally simple. You understand? It's totally what is totally simple, guys. Totally simple. So what else? So like I said, I said I'll just talk about the one pattern and two pattern. So other two pattern we have the engulfing, engulfing bearish engulfing bar. You understand what they actually mean by the bearish engulfing bar is actually very very simple, and this is actually something we can actually even use our sense to think of psychologically. This type of candlestick is called the Maruzoba candlestick. That is that the bullish candlestick because the bullish candlestick. And the bearish candlesticks together. They are two pattern candlesticks. You understand? That is, they are very equal. You understand? You show the bluish candlestick, then the next candlestick should be rich, but they are very equal. So psychological elitism means that within one hour, the sellers strike up for a particular movement from here, from a point A to point B. Then the next hour, the seller said they are not going for buyers with that. What they did to the ones who did to. And they came up with it and they did this and they were very poor. So that's actually like psychologically trying to tell us that, okay, fine. Fine is more or less like relating to Doji. You know, I said Doji, they were fighting. We need that one hour candlestick. You understand? Well, this Marzoba, the two pattern candlestick, is just trying to tell you that they fought back. Wow. We'll be, uh, we're going there in the next like 30 seconds. You understand, guys? So it's just trying. So this, this Marzoba will be the last one I'll tell you yesterday. So you guys can actually psychologically read about the candlesticks pattern, you understand? So now it's just trying to know that within one hour, the buyers fought, within the second hour, the sellers fought in the same way, the same percentage, 50-50, you understand? And which is actually like kind of close to the doji psychologically, you understand? So that's that about candlesticks pattern and everything about candlesticks. So tomorrow. So just go to that candlestick Bible that I shared. You understand? We have so many. We have the four, we have the one pattern and we explain the one pattern candlesticks. We explain the second pattern. We have other examples of candlesticks. Uh, second pattern apart from this Marusoba and apart from Doji, we have. So just go read. But now I've actually explained some psychology for you, so it won't actually give you a problem. I don't need to put it in your head like that. So we have the Arami. The Arami is kind of closer to the engulfing candlestick. So now that will lead us to where. Okay, this Marzoba is actually called Twizzard too as well. So this will lead us to market structure tomorrow, guys. Lead us to what? Market structure tomorrow. Thank you very much, guys, for having me. Thank you. God bless you.